Hey guys, it's Taylor again. Um, today I guess will just be a video day. I need to catch up on quite a few things. Uh, my glam bag, birch box, and so excited. Uh, it's Sunday, but on Friday I finally got in my box box or from influencer.com. And it looks like this. It's just a big, huge box. Anyways, um, how that works is influencer.com is kind of like a little blogging site. And they test out products. And uh, you set up a profile on there. You earn little badges and stuff like that. Um, kind of have to go check it out to probably get better explanation on it. Um, but anyways, if they like you know, what they see, you kind of put your Facebook in, your Twitter um, accounts, all that, and YouTube and stuff like that. And if you know, they like what they see, they will select you to send a box to you. And so anyways, I got the, I think it's the, let's see, Spring Beauty Box box. And I got a little card like this. And what's so cool about this box is that it's all free. And it's all full-size items, pretty much. So, I was really excited when I found out I got selected for it. And then within like a week or two, I got the box. And it was a huge box. So anyways, I was just going to do a little quick video real fast on what I got in the box. And some of the stuff I've already tested out, some of it I haven't. Um, I'm getting a text message. And so, uh, phone's up here. And so, uh, anyways... We'll just kind of go from there and, sorry, I need to quiet my phone. Okay, we'll just go <laughs> from there. My friend just texted me and she saw a picture of my brother. His prom was last night. And y'all, he went with a freaking top hat, gloves, and a pimp cane. It really worries me. Like, this boy's about to graduate. And his excitement is getting top hats and pimp canes and gloves. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, back on to box box. <laughs> So ADHD. Okay, so anyway, so I'll show you all some of the stuff and uh, do this quick little video, okay? So the first thing I got that I saw right away when I opened it, oh yeah, this is the card that I got. Great, okay. So the first thing I saw right away when I opened it that I was so excited about, because full size, y'all, was the Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist, the Sweet Pea. This thing is freaking huge. And look at that, the price tag is still on it for $14. How funny is that? Anyways, I love Sweet Pea. I'm no stranger to Bath and Body Works. I go there often because you always get those little coupons, so I can't resist. I'll just spray a little around the room. But, uh, so I've, this is one of my favorite scents, Sweet Pea and Moonlight Path, all the older ones I love. Anyways, so I'm excited about this because I like putting fragrance mist on, um, just if I don't want, like, heavy perfume. And the good thing about fragrance mist is you can build it on you. If you want it really light, just one or two sprays around your whole body will be fine. You can build it, you know, three, four, or five sprays. You're, you're starting to have quite a bit of fragrance. So, anyways, that was really exciting. Like I said, I, I like it because you can build mist and it's just light. And um, it's a good amount of product for a decent price. I mean, for $14, you get quite a bit of product. And I can tell you, I have another mist that I use a lot from Victoria's Secret. And I've been using it over the last three months. It sits in my car. Anyway, it's about this size, and I haven't, like, seriously, it's, like, right there now. I'm like, I'm never going to get rid of it. But anyway, so uh, that was, like I said, the Sweet Pea scent. And Sweet Pea is a really uh, kind of sweet scent. It smells really good. It's not, it's nothing heavy or anything. So if you got a Bath & Body Works around you, check these out. They're the new Fine Fragrance Mist. Okay, the next product I got, which I haven't used, but I'm no stranger to this brand either, is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. And I think this is the only one that was in full size, but it's still a nice sample size. And it is supposed to help replenish skin's natural moisture for visible, healthy skin. And let me see if it says anything special on my card. It's lightly fragrant, soap-free, dye-free, and hypoallergenic, so it's gentle enough for sensitive skin. And for a full-size bottle, ranges anywhere from $6.99 to $8.99. It's, the scent's like very, very light, just kind of like a clean scent. I can't even... Smell. Y'all, I have a wart. in that disgusting? I got it burnt off. That's so nasty. Y'all saw it, so I had to just tell y'all. I got it, like, not burnt, but frozen, like where they do, I don't know if it's like nitrogen what, or what they freeze on you. But anyways, they're like, yeah, it's going to turn black and gray and blister underneath and they'll fall off. But it hasn't fell off yet, and I've never had a wart before, and it's so disgusting. Look at that. You can just, like, see it on the top of my hand. so disgusting. Anyways, that has nothing to do with box box, so let's keep going. Okay, the next thing I've got, too, are the Dr. Scholl's for her ball of foot cushions. And full size, once again, there is one whole pair in here for high heels. 
And they say, you know, try them out when you're wearing your heels or your favorite wedges this weekend. And uh, I guess this was a extra product because it is not listed. I guess this is just the extra little gimme they put in there. Anyways, I've used these before and I, I like them. Um, I mean, they're not miracle. I mean, if you have shoes that are going to hurt your feet, it's still going to hurt a little bit, but at least this can kind of take away the pain from them. Um, anyways, I like Dr. Scholl's for the most part. I did have some that were, uh, from Dr. Scholl's and I put them in my flats because I'd always get blisters on the back of my heels because my shoes would rub, you know, up and down on my heels, um, the way flats do. And those lasted for like two days and then they fell out and like they lost their stickiness and then they just would not stay. So that kind of was irritating. But for the most part, these you're putting on the bottom of the the bottom of the sole of your shoe, so they're not really going to fall out, you know, and your foot's going to secure it in when it's on top of it. So they're really, they're pretty cushiony. They have a nice gel um, pad in there, and um, it says designed uniquely for women's shoes, um, and it's supposed to prevent toe scrunch and pre prevent feet from sliding forward, and then um, it says it, you, it's removable from the shoe without damage. So anyway, so that was that little give me. Okay, the next thing I got, which I haven't tried these, but I'm so excited about this one because this this color on it is just blowing my mind. And it's a Sally Sanson, Hansen Salon Defects Real nail, nail Polish Strips. And um, you wear it like nail polish and it has, of course, no drying time because these strips you put on. The, and they're $10. The only reason, well, $9.99. The only reason I haven't tried these is because I did not want to pay $9.99. But now that I got it in my box, box box, I'm so excited. Anyways, look how pretty it is. It's just sparkles. It's all different color sparkles. So, I might actually put these on right now. Because, as you can see, my nails, I took all my nail polish off for when I had to go up to the hospital. So, I think I'm going to try these on. And how it says you put them on is you peel them off the strip, you put them on your nails like a sticker, and then you're supposed to file um, away the excess amount because they're kind of long. They're like that long. And so, you file them away until you, like, shape them the way you want. So anyways, um, hopefully in a few videos you'll see these on and I'll tell you how it's going. So anyways, they're $10, the Sally Hansen, uh, the Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips. And this color, for y'all that want to know, is in Frockstar. And it's just such a, like, it's just glitter. That's all it is, and so I'm excited about that. Okay, the next thing I got is the Chapstick Lip Shield 365 Skin Protectant and Sunscreen with SPF 50. And I always love Chapstick. I might actually try putting this on right now. Um, and it's $1.89 to $2.39, and it's supposed to help with year-round exposure from sun, wind, and cold. Um, now my BF's calling. Anyway, so I like chapstick anyways. So I'll try to open this and just kind of tell y'all if it has anything. Watch, I can't open it now. I do this every time. I, like, start a video and don't open the products. And then my video, of course, is, like, 10 minutes long. Okay, here we go. It smells lemony. I just had lipstick on, so I made it kind of dirty. Um, it's nice. It's like regular chapstick. It's nothing like, woo, amazing. But it has a nice kind of lemony zest smell to it. And I'm curious to see, you know, because my lips, I should have had this during the winter. It's now, you know, I'm in Texas, and it's already, what are we in, May? And it's already like 96 degrees outside. And so, anyways, in the winter, though, my lips peel so bad. And so I wish I kind of had this in the winter. But I will... I think continue to use this this summer to help with, because it has a sunscreen, the SPF 50. So anyways, continuing on. Oh, and I got a little pamphlet for the Sally Hansen Salon Defects thing, I guess just to show you some more colors and patterns, and then to show you once again the directions, where you press, you apply, and you file. I don't know why we got a pamphlet on it, but. Okay, the next thing I got, which is interesting, because I'm pretty sure this is like full size, was a sheer cover duo concealer, duo concealer, and it is sold in one month supply kits of six products plus three bonus for $29.95. And I don't get that. But anyways, um, it is ideal for hiding blemishes, age spots, redness, scars, and other imperfections without the cakey coverage. Um, duo shades can be blended to perfectly match your skin tone. So I just kind of did some swatches on my hand the other day. I'll just show some on my finger. And I did medium because I do wear darker... Um, I tan, so, but I don't tan my face, so I wear darker makeup on my face to be with my body. So anyways, those are two of the colors, very similar, and you're supposed to be able to mix them together. That's what it looks like inside. Um, they glide on really well. Uh, 
there it's just a really sh even coverage you, you're not gonna even be able to see where I put it on see so it blends in really well to my skin so I'm gonna have to try it out I do have like one huge pimple that you cannot see but it's massive and it's painful and I think I have one coming up on the inside of my nose uh, those are the worst those hurt so bad but anyways, um, once again, nothing to do with our box box. <laughs> but I will uh, continue to test this out. I really like it so far, though. It mixes, um, and I just mix the two colors in on top of each other, and you can't even tell I put it in on my hand. Um, it, I mean, you can tell kind of because my freckles are lightened up now since it has that coverage over it. But anyways, um, like I said, it's very sheer feeling. So it doesn't feel it doesn't feel grady. It doesn't feel powdery. It's just a nice little sheer feeling thing. So that was, once again, the sheer coverage concealer. Duo concealer, medium. It's called medium tan, actually, according to the back. Okay, and the last thing that I was gonna try with y'all, which I haven't tried yet, but I like these kind of little things, so I have to try it. Got my water nearby just in case it backfires on me. But it's a Soy Joy bar, and these range from 99 cents to $1.29. And the one I got is blueberry, which I'm a little skeptical about blueberry because I'm not a huge blueberry fan. I mean, blueberry pop tarts are okay. I like a blueberry muffin every once in a while, but. We'll see. Anyways, uh, Simply Baked in their Southern California Bakery, and they give you real energy and sustaining deliciousness, and it has real fruit and whole soy in it. Anyways, um, I like little bars like these. I think they're good for on-the-go snacks. I've been, I'm always trying to be healthy, and then I get on these kicks, like these extreme kips where I really try to be healthy, and so I've been doing like intense training like five or six times a week, and so I've been carrying protein bars with me to eat to try to build muscle, but... I might be carrying some soy jewelry with me if I like it a lot. Uh, just a real quick thing on the back, just so y'all know. This whole bar right here, which is a full-size bar, start opening it. Um, just nutrition, in case anybody wants to know. Calories are 140. Total fat, 6 grams. I'm um, just in the high notes here. Carbs are 17 grams. They have 4 grams of fiber in this baby, so that's pretty good. And sugars are 12 grams, and protein's 4 grams. And then it has a few vitamins. Vitamin A is 2%. No vitamin C. Calcium, 2%. Iron, 4%. So anyways, I figured I'd take a bite and just tell y'all how it goes on camera. I'm getting excited. This is what the bar looks like. And it's kind of hard. It's not like soft and moist, but it's not it's not like rock. I mean, I'm not going to bang it against my computer. I was about to do that. Okay. It's pretty good. It'd be really good with milk. Um... I don't know if anybody's tried the new kind of like Big Newton cookies. Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of has a similar taste. The only thing I don't like about these kind of bars and my protein bars or whatever bars I'm eating. I feel like if you don't chew it fast enough and get it down, the longer it sits in your mouth, the more it breaks apart. And then it starts tasting like not good whatsoever. Like it kind of gets grainy. But overall, it has a really nice taste to it. It's true to its word. It does taste just like blueberry. Um, it has like a few, I don't know if they're kind of like dried out kind of berries. So you can kind of taste those when you taste. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not finishing it. It's pretty good. It tastes very breakfasty to me. I mean, I wouldn't want that like as a late night dessert. I'd probably want it earlier in the morning. So, now that my video is over 13 minutes long, that was my spring box box. And so, go check out Influencer.com. Exactly like it sounds, Influencer.com. Set up a profile there if you're interested in this kind of stuff, getting stuff for free, and do the badges, do whatever it asks, and then you might be selected to also get a box box. I hope I can get selected to get and get another one because these are great products. I like them all. And some of the things like, for instance, the salon effects things, I've really been on my list to get. I just could not bring myself to spend $10 on nail polish strips. But now that I can try it for free, I might just absolutely fall in love with it and realize it's a necessity now. Um... So anyways, well, I'll see y'all later in the next video, um, and y'all have a great day. Bye!